Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we are going to see how to install Java on Mac OS. Now Java is an object oriented programming language that takes a platform independent approach to application development by using virtual machines. So which means Java apps are compiled to run on Java virtual machines which are also called as JVM and it is regardless of the underlying OS. Now these Java based apps and applets are created using a software development environment or SDE known as the Java development kit which is also called as JDK. Now in this video we are going to see how to install the Java development kit or JDK as well as the Java runtime environment on Mac OS. Now for Mac OS we have multiple Java development kit which are available. However Oracle maintains the original closed source Oracle JDK but the company also helps in developing the open source version of environment which is called Open JDK. So in this video we will install Oracle JDK as well as Open JDK. The difference between these two JDK is primarily in licensing so we don't have to get into too much detail of these. Let's start with the installation of Oracle JDK after that we will see how to install the open JDK. Now to install Oracle JDK just open your web browser and then search for download Java JDK and then open the first link which is from oracle.com now on this page you can see that java 19 is the latest version and the java 17 is the lts version which means the long term support version and if we scroll down and click on mac os you can see we have these installer packages the first one is arm64 which is for the m1 and m2 chips the second one is x64 dmg installer now this one is for the intel chips so choose the packages according to your system since i am running intel based pc so i will download this x64 dmg installer and the download is going to begin now once the download is complete you can start the java installation Just click on continue and it's going to take 326 MB of space on your computer. If you click on install then you have to enter your password. Then click on install software and Java JDK will be installed on your computer. Alright. Now after that if you want you can move the file to the bin or you can keep it. Totally up to you. At least Java has given you this option. Alright. Now after that let's open terminal. You can click on launch pad and search for terminal and open it up. Alright. Now let's check whether Java was installed and the path was set properly or not. So just type Java space hyphen version. And you can see Java version 19.0.1 is installed on your computer jre is also installed which means we don't have to install jre separately it comes bundled with jdk and then 64 bit server vm is also installed all right and if you want to check the java c version you can do that that is the compiler of java all right then after that let's see how to set the java home variable so I'll just type nano. Nano is the name of the text editor. You can use any other text editor that you have. Then space. Then we have this symbol tilde forward slash dot zshrc. Now this is going to open the zshrc file in nano editor. Now here we have to type export space java underscore home equals within double quotes forward slash usr forward slash lib exec forward slash java underscore home then close the quotes now to save the file just hit control plus x and then you have to confirm to save the file so just hit y and then just hit enter and we will return back to the terminal 
now if we have set the java home folder properly then we can display the content of the java home variable from the terminal and for that first of all we have to source the zshrc file so just write source space tilde forward slash dot zshrc and then we can just echo the folder to display the content of the folder so echo space dollar java underscore home and it returns the value of the java home variable let's check the java version so everything is perfectly fine till now and uh, if you want to install the lts version of java then coming back to the download page of oracle you can click on this tab java 17 and then you will have to download the package corresponding to your system and then install that package and you are good to go so that's all for oracle jdk if you want to use oracle jdk then you are good to go but if you want to see how to install open jdk then let's see that now the first step is to download and install homebrew which is a package manager so just type brew.sh and hit enter and then to install brew on your computer you have to copy this script from here so just copy it and then open your terminal and then paste the script and hit enter then you will have to enter your password all right then the script is going to install these packages and then these new directories will be created and also the xcode command line tools will be installed because apparently brew uses the xcode command line tools to work properly so anyways just hit enter and then the download and install of xcode will begin now once the download and installation of command line tools for xcode is over the script is going to start with the installation of homebrew so it might ask for your password so just enter your password and hit enter now once homebrew is installed you can just type brew space install space open jdk and if you don't mention any version here then it's going to install the latest version of open jdk that is available and that is version 19 but if you want to install a specific version then you can just write at and then mention the version that you want to install so let's say i'll just write 18 and if 18 is a valid version then the homebrew is going to download and install it for you so it says there is no version 18 that is available in the repository so anyways then i'll just try to install 17 and 17 was installed successfully now open jdk 17 has to be sim linked into user local because this is an alternate version of another formula so we will have to set the path in the environment variable for using open jdk so if you want to check the version here just type java space hyphen version and you can see it is still showing the oracle jdk so let's set the path just copy this entire line echo export path and then paste it then run it then after that paste it once again and just make some changes this is to set the java home variable all right so i'll keep all these commands in the description of this video so that you can directly copy it from there now if you run java space hyphen version it is still going to show the oracle java jdk because we have to refresh our terminal or we can just restart our terminal all right now on restarting the terminal we have this error the error is at the line 4 in z 
shrc file and the error is unmatched double quote so i think i have made a mistake while i was trying to export the java home variable so let's open the zshrc file so type nano space tilde forward slash dot zshrc hit enter and here you can see that the ending double quote is missing and that's why we were getting the error so i'll just add the double quote and the first line was for oracle java which we have already uninstalled so we can get rid of the first line all right then just save the file Control x and then hit y to save it and then just hit enter or return key now after returning to the terminal we can echo the content of java home but it's still displaying the content of the oracle java because we have not sourced the file till now after making the changes we have not sourced the file and let's try to echo the folder now and now it displays the content which we have updated for open jdk so that means the java home variable is set properly restart terminal now if you run java space hyphen version you can see now the active version is open jdk and the version is 17.0.5 all right now if you want to install different version of OpenJDK, then you should uninstall the previous version to avoid any conflicts. To uninstall the version, just type brew space uninstall space OpenJDK at 17. And it's going to uninstall the OpenJDK 17. And now if you run java space hyphen version, it's going to show the oracle java version now because open jdk has been uninstalled now you can install the latest version of open jdk so just type brew space install space open jdk and once the installation is over we are going to get messages like this open jdk is a keg only which means it was not sim linked into user local so we have to take care of these error so just copy the first line sudo ln space hyphen sfn just copy the entire line and paste it hit enter then you will have to enter your password this line is to make sure that the system java wrappers are able to find this jdk now the second command is to add the open jdk into your system path so just copy this line echo export path paste it hit enter then paste this line once again and make some changes because we have to set the java home variable also so it will be echo within single quote export space java home then equals user forward slash local forward slash opt forward slash open jdk then for compilers to find open jdk you may need to set export cpp flags so copy that line also and run it all right now restart your terminal and uh, if you write java space hyphen version you can see now the open jdk version that is installed on your computer is 19.0.1 so that is all for the installation part if you just want to use open jdk you can go ahead and start using it you don't have to do anything else Now I will explain how to uninstall Java on Mac. Now for that, let's first uninstall the open JDK. So just type brew space uninstall space open JDK. So this is going to uninstall the open JDK. 
and now if you run java space hyphen version it's going to show the oracle java version now because open jdk has been uninstalled so which means the open jdk has been uninstalled now if you want to uninstall the java jdk also then first of all we have to change the current working directory so just type cd space forward slash library forward slash java forward slash java virtual machines and then type ls now you can see we have two jdk files here and since open jdk is already uninstalled we just have to uninstall the jdk 19 now to uninstall the jdk 19 just type sudo space rm space hyphen rf space jdk hyphen 19 dot jdk and hit enter then enter your password all right now if you run java space hyphen version you will find that there is no java runtime installed on your computer all right so this completes the installation as well as the uninstall of java jdk and open jdk now if you don't want to install java jdk but you just want to install jre jre is the java runtime environment so if you just want the jre without the entire development kit then you can open your web browser and then just type java.com then from here just click on download java all right then you have this download java for mac os the file size is 85.77 mb so you can just download java from here all right Now once the download is complete, you can start the installation. And just click on install. Enter your password. And the Java JRE is going to be installed on your computer. So that is all how to install JRE. So I hope you were able to learn how to install uninstall Java JDK as well as the open JDK and also how to install Java JRE. So if you like the video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to see you in the next video. Till then take care and thanks for watching.